I mean, as you can tell from the title, yes, I did fail my test. I failed terribly. Like, it's a whole story from start to finish, and I don't think I've ever said it online because I was just so petrified and mortified and just so embarrassed about the whole situation. So I thought, why not try some makeup and do a cool look whilst telling you how I flopped, basically. Maybe this could be a learning curve for some of you, you know, learn from my mistakes. <laughs> I just want to give today's post notification shout out to Vidushi Gupta for your really, really sweet comment. Honestly, it made my day and I can't thank you enough for the love. Um, and if you guys want to get a post notification shout out, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so or you can just leave a really nice comment. So brows are already done because I feel like you guys have seen me do them a million times. Um, so we're going to move straight onto eyes. I think it's better if I'm like really up close so you guys can really see me do my makeup because I actually prefer it when it's like that when I'm watching people's makeup videos and then like when I look at mine I'm like so far away so this is definitely a much better angle I'm using my um Tarte Shape Tape for my base because I really want a nice opaque base for my eyeshadow to go on to because I just want my look to be Today I'm really excited because we're going to be using the Huda Beauty Khaki Haze Palette. And honestly, it's so, so stunning. I love the shades. It was calling for me when I saw the release. And we're going to start off with, obviously, the Khaki shade in the middle. I'm just going to really buff this, like press this into kind of like the crease, the outer corner and inner corner. But let's jump straight into the video. So basically, let's go all the way to begin, beginning. One day I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna do my uh, theory test. So I revised for three days, booked it and I passed literally just on the spot. But honestly, even that day was a struggle. I got there and I didn't bring my provisional license and the paperwork that comes with it. So they were like, we can't do your test today because you didn't bring the right paperwork. So I was like, oh my God, I came so far away. What am I supposed to do now? And lady was, I was really lucky to have a nice lady who kind of felt sorry for me. So she was like, okay, do you know what? We got another slot, go get your thing and then come back. So then I got my thing, Got I went all the way back home, picked up my stuff. And I had to look for it as well in like drawers and stuff. It was the most, I will never forget that day. And I was so stressed because I took like a half day off school. So then I had to call school and like, ugh, honestly, it was such a pain. Anyways, I ended up passing in the end and I passed with the 43 out of 50, which is literally the limit. You can only get 43 out of 50 to pass. If you get anything lower than that, then it's a fail. So I was like, oh my God, I'm so happy. Like I passed. So then a year later after having my theory and I've completely... Oh my god, my makeup brush literally just flew. So yeah, a year later, uh, I just decided to start taking lessons. And the, I got in the car with a lady and she was like, right, this is the accelerator, this is the brake, the clutch. Start driving. And literally, I'm on the main road and I panicked. I mean, I managed to do it, but I was really lost. Like, I was like, oh my god, I'm literally driving. This is my first... I'm not even, like, 10 minutes into my first lesson and I'm on the main road. I don't know if, like, other driving instructors do that, but... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so I did, like... I think I ended up doing, like, 30 or 40 lessons with this lady. And towards the end, I was on a really, really big mo um, roundabout. And literally, I'm waiting to move off, and a lorry, not a lorry, but like a, tr a big truck van, like a big, those big white vans, um, bumped into the car behind me. And I literally, it was such a busy motorway, everyone had to like go across us because I'm literally at the entry point into the roundabout. And everyone's passing by, looking at me, making jokes, like, oh my god, like, as if it was my fault, but it really wasn't. I didn't do anything. The, the guy hit me from the back. I guess he ex he thought I was moving off, but I didn't. Um, uh, the instructor got out, got his details. I don't know what the hell she did. She was really dodgy, to be honest. So yeah, that happened. And I think I've been traumatized from driving since. I mean, it's not, the, it's not like bad, bad. Like I'm in a car all the time. I take the Uber, but I'm always weary. I'm always looking and I'm just really paranoid especially when people drive it a bit faster than they're supposed to i don't know so then i stopped for a bit with her and then i found another lady who um was even worse she was so strict honestly she would make me feel like crap she every time i made a mistake she was like stop the car what did you do wrong and i'll be like uh 
do you really need me to stop every time I make a mistake? Like, oh my god, these earrings are so heavy. They're so cute from H&M, but they're like dragging my ears down. I'm gonna end up like Kris Jenner having to do an ear reduction operation, okay? With these earrings. So yeah, she was just so mean. Not at heart, not at heart, but she, her teaching way was like awful. I did like, I think I did like 20 lessons and I was in a rush. I was like, listen, my theory test is gonna expire in like a month. So I need to like learn my lessons ASAP. I need to learn how to drive ASAP. So she was trying to like get me to learn. I did so many hours with her. I think I booked another 20 with her. So after, at this point I've done like what, 60 hours of driving, right? You would think, oh, it would come easy to someone after 60 hours of driving. No, <sighs> think again, think again, my friend. I'm just trying to like smooth this out with a pink right now. So anyways, it comes to my test day and I'm really, I'm telling you, I'm really nervous, like really nervous. Like the lady was telling me to calm down and um, she made me pay 80 pounds to rent her car for the test, 80 pounds. Some people don't even charge to rent their car on the test day. It's, she was just doing it for the money. I know it's her job, but like, I just feel like she really made the most out of what she could with me um, but it didn't work in the end because I ain't keeping you next time I try to learn how to drive so then it comes to test day I'm waiting I get this lady she's very firm very strict lady we walk out she's like read the letters off the thing I didn't expect that at all so I'm like okay I read off the car plate from afar to check my eyesight's working and then we go into the car She's like, put the windscreen wipers on. And I'm like looking at the buttons. I literally just grabbed one button. I didn't know what it was for. Put it on and the radio starts like proper Indian prayer music, full blast in the car. At that point I was just like, okay, that's it, I'm done. I don't know. And I didn't know how to turn it off. So it was so loud. The examiner had to turn the music off for me. Can you imagine how embarrassing guys? I'm then gonna take this really pretty bronzy shade and I'm just gonna press that in the center. Okay, then with my ring finger, I'm gonna get the lighter shade, shimmery shade in the palette. And I'm just gonna press this in the center just to give like a bit more dimension. I'm not gonna lie, there's definitely a bit more fallout with this palette. Like, kickback I would say so where am I am I in my story like I lose track of where I left off after she turns off the music I, I try to like put the windshield wipers on and both of them start going on and then like I'm like looking in the back and I'm like what the hell's going on I didn't know how to turn it off so she had to turn it off and then she marks something on her sheet um then she tells me to move off I start driving we get at a roundabout she tells me to uh, turn left but I continue straight so she's like stop the car and she talks to me and she gives me like a pep talk she's like listen you need to listen to the instructions I'm giving you okay so we can get through this and I'm like okay I, I don't remember exactly but she was basically telling me like you need to listen to me like come on girl get your game on like kind of that kind of pep talk so she wasn't like a mean mean examiner Anyway, so then I move off. Can you tell me? She tells me to go left and I go straight. Like, how dumb can someone be? <laughs> me, clearly. Then we're like driving and driving and I get to a one-way street with two lanes. I didn't know it was a one-way street, right? I'm gonna use the new L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara. So right off the bat with this mascara, I can tell that it's not super, super black. It's like that grayish black, but we'll try this. So yeah, I didn't know that this road with two lanes is a one-way street, so obviously she had to test me. She was like, okay, at the end of the road, turn right. And the, the end of the road, the road that you're supposed to turn to, was a very busy road. So I'm in a left-hand lane, I'm like thinking, turn right, turn right, but I'm in the left-hand lane. And I didn't want to take the risk because if it wasn't a one-way street, that's even worse, right? So I'm on the left-hand lane, Sit, indicating right and I start turning right she stops my she grabs my wheel and she stops it she stops the car she's like this is a one-way street and you're in the left hand lane I was like sorry I didn't know that this was um, a one-way street at this point I'm literally dying inside of me so she was like right just turn left now we get onto a uh, roundabout my favorite 
honestly i kid you not some of the roundabouts i honestly don't understand i don't when i'm driving with my sister i don't understand them like how can you think about checking your mirrors checking no one's cut in front of you checking your clutch gear making sure you don't stall and on top of that checking what lane you're supposed to be in and around about checking the road markings and the traffic lights and the exits and making sure that there's no one indicating oh my god it's giving me a headache it's giving me a headache already think about it i think at this point like i just want to i'm gonna learn manual but i think i'll probably get like an automatic car i just don't think i can i, I can be bothered to deal with an automatic manual car like i just feel like i'm physically not made for it i do what actually gives me hope is Alicia uh, Jasmine on YouTube. I definitely recommend her channel. She does like drive with me's and she talks about her experience of um, passing her test and she struggled a lot like basically I did. Um, and she can now drive pretty well in my opinion. I still have hope, but it's just too much. Anyways, back to the story. We get to the roundabout and I literally cut in front of, I literally cut in front of a car like I almost bumped into him and the car beeped at me and the lady had to grab my wheel put it back into the lane and then the driver was looking back at us as he passed us by and she took the test paper and she was like it's a test it's a test you can imagine how I'm feeling at this point I literally didn't want to drive I just wanted to give up. I'm like, I just, I just, well, I just, and we're only not even halfway through the test. And I'm like, oh my God, what is the point of me doing this right now? Like I failed, I failed. If the examiner has touched your steering wheel or pressed their brakes, I think that's a major. Then we get onto this weird road. It's like a normal two way kind of like road. I didn't see the speed sign anywhere. So I assumed it was 30. Thought the speed limit was 30. By the way, this mascara is actually not bad, but I can't say it like, it's my favorite, favorite mascara. I definitely prefer the Lash Paradise one compared to this. But yeah, glad I tried it. So yeah, I'm driving on this road. I'm gonna put prepare my um, eBay lashes. So yeah, so I'm here like an idiot driving at 30 miles per hour on this road, which I wasn't too sure of and like I didn't know. So like if I'm unsure, I might as well drive under the speed limit. But actually driving under the speed limit, I think is even, is also dangerous, I think. So I'm looking into my back, my, re my rear view mirror, if that's what it's called. And I see a trail of cars behind me. So I'm like, something wrong here but i was too unsure to start speeding up because basically i'm speeding up on the fact that there's a trail behind me like it's not legit like i could be wrong and that's even more dangerous i feel like so then i'm seeing like the examiner she's like looking at me like like she didn't want to tell me but I th and i think in the end she told me you need to speed up this is like a 60 mile per hour road Limit. So here, I'm here like an idiot driving at 30 miles per hour on a, a 60 mile per hour road. I guess that was another major because I saw her write something on her sheet. Like, okay, I think these are like three major faults right there. And then drive around. She tells me to do independent driving, which I found so hard and it stressed me out the most. And then we get to the point where she's like, all right, so we're gonna do your manoeuvre, uh, you're gonna, we're gonna do your manoeuvre, I want you to do a three point turn. Literally aced the three point turn. I did it so smoothly like than I've ever done before in my lessons. And I was so proud of myself, even though I flopped the whole test. And then we get to the, the test centre and she was just like, right, do you wanna your instructor? And I was like, no, just tell me now. And she's like, right, you failed. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you know that and then she gave me advice I don't even remember the advice she gave me because I was just so like disappointed and kind of shocked at my how bad the test went so like this time I'm definitely gonna try and train myself to drive with a more calmer mindset because I've done the hours I did the hours I just feel like I definitely need more but I need a better instructor that will not punish me every time I make a small mistake, but more like kind of like teach me in a better way. I was I feel like, and my sister's driving instructor seemed really good, so I definitely will give him a try. But with the two I had, like the first one, she just I just feel like she just she was just careless, and then the second one she was just way too strict. So yeah, that was my test basically. Okay, so next I'm gonna use this uh, Illumate. Illum 
This is Illuminating Primer by Thrive Cosmetics and I'm just gonna put this like as a moisturizer slash primer. Ooh, that feels really nice. The next thing I'm really excited about is the new L'Oreal Tinted Water Cream and this is in the shade Medium 4. I don't know if this is the right shade, but we'll give it a go. I think it's the right shade actually. I was definitely expecting this to be a bit more sheer but it's actually applying it very very nice all right so so far i'm really liking that and i think i'm gonna go in with my nars concealer by the way my jewelry is from h&m i don't know if i said that but i saw these shells and it just reminded me of mauritius and I was just drawn to it, so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna buy it. I've been more into jewellery lately. I really want to get like loads of piercings as well on my ears. I don't know if I should do it, I'm a bit scared. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of regret having my belly button pierced because not only does it leave a massive scar, I mean, it's not the end of the world, like, I don't regret, regret it. But I would say like, if you're gonna get these kind of like piercings, you need to think about it properly. Don't just get it when you're like 16, like I did basically, because you just never know. When you grow up, you might change your whole view on life and you might hate it. And a belly button piercing is really hard like to heal. Like it doesn't heal. Like you just end up with this hole. Like if I do like, feel a bit more comfortable with my belly and stuff i'll probably get it done again because it's better than having just that random hole there but um yeah definitely think i would say like think properly if you're gonna get um a piercing like that especially on your face as well because like sometimes they leave a hole i'm just gonna set my under eyes with some huda beauty baking powder in the shade blondie um base the skin tint what's it called water tinted water cream it's actually really nice i'm actually pretty pleased with the shade um the way it's sitting what the way it's covered it's definitely more on the jewelry side so i'm just like setting a bit more on my face than usual like all over but it's actually really nice then for bronzer today i'm going to use my hula bronzer I'm then gonna use this cream blush by Thrive Cosmetics. This is in the shade Tessa and it's like a cream blush. And I'm just gonna kind of like brush it onto my cheeks with a stippling brush. I've definitely been more like heavy handed with my blush. And I bring it more like up. Oh, it's got a bit of a dew to it as well. I'm not gonna put highlighter. Oh, I'm like that. I definitely will like that for work. So I started Bly, uh, The Haunting of Bly Manor and I find it so scary. I, I don't know about you guys, if you watched the, ha uh, the Haunting of Hill House, I think that's what it's called. Like, there were like scenes, I know it was a big thing, because there were scenes where like there was something in the background and you don't even notice until like afterwards when people were pointing out on YouTube and stuff. So now I just find myself looking at the background and I find so many things in the background, it's so creepy. So my driving, whole driving experience was really crap i'm not gonna lie but i'm gonna try and get on board again i'm just gonna use the huda beauty lip contour in spice girl and then finally i'm gonna use the pop beauty matte lip paint in the shade butter babe just trying to blend it with them lip liner all right guys this is the final look i really hope you guys enjoyed this little kind of story time get ready with me and if you guys want to see more like this give this video a thumbs up leave a little comment in your comment section and yeah subscribe if you haven't already i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next one
Bye.